These are the games you have to win to be taken seriously. Hornets. For the Bulls, the best record in the NBA. It's no accident, an elite team that expects to win every time they take the court. Hornets, Bulls, the NBA on 2K Sports. Good to have you with us on a Sunday afternoon for basketball here on 2K Sports. Along with the all-star team of Stan Van Gundy, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. And while we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for Nikola Vucevic. Unfortunately, we've seen his ability as a rebounder take a back seat these past few seasons. And I'd like to see him refocus on that element of his game. You can never have enough rebounds, in my opinion. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. Levine and Williams are the two forwards. Kobe White out there with Josh Giddy, and it's MP in at center. Well, Stan, once teams get into the postseason, what kind of changes do we typically see? Well, Brian, the one thing you see for sure is everybody's rotation will get shorter, and the best players' minutes will go up. There's no more experimentation now. It's time to put your best players out there for as many minutes as possible. Offensive rebound. The three is up. Williams grabs the board. The Hornets have gone one for three so far. Martin against Giddy. White with a steal. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Here's MP. And the layup is good off the glass. MP's gotten his second bucket of the game. All the talk around the NBA, Grant, that quadruple double from MP. I still can't believe he did it, B.A. MP doing it all for his team. And everyone in this crowd is here to see him tonight. Ball no good. The Bulls have gone two of three from the floor. White finds MP. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Well, high percentage looks are always a good idea. MP could build a career on shots like that if he wanted to. Fires top of the key, and Ball gets it to go. Intelligent basketball. Keep feeding the hot hand. The Bulls have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. And they double up MP from deep. And there's White. That's good on the assist from Williams. They've really come out swinging, hitting four of their first five shots. Grant, the Hornets are a team hoping to end a pretty substantial playoff drought. Yeah, it's been a long time since they made a buzz in the postseason. But their return could be closer than people think. A few smart moves here or there might be all it takes. Pass to Miller. Clock at six. 
the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It goes on Patrick Williams. Charlotte shooting their first free throws of this game. He's off on the first. He does not get the second one. Bulls leading by five. White, the pass to MP. Giddy with it. MP with it. Williams defending. Pass to Levine. Three-pointer. And again, it's Chicago with a three. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Yeah, the instant LaMelo sees the opening, he's moving the ball. He jumps at the chance to feed a wide-open guy. Outside Giddy. MP against Williams. The deep three from Levine. Offensive board. MP, that one's good. MP's got eight points. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. And Williams punches it home. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. And Giddy has got the ball here for Chicago. Pass to MP. And the rebound goes to Charlotte. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. One thing we saw from them that game, and we see it around the league, an over-dependency on the three ball. That shot, the three, is very volatile. On games when it's fallen, you can beat anyone. But when you're leaning on it and you go cold, tough sledding. And that one's good. Giddy. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. Hornets trail by nine. Ball passes to Williams. Now Martin. To the middle. Here's Miller. And he dunks it down. Oh, yes. Two loud points from Miller, making his presence felt. MP outside. And they double up MP. Kitty finds White. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Ball passes to Williams. He gets it in there. He's got six. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. Pass to MP. Outside for Levine. Outside Giddy. And it's going to be a three-second call. And a check on the league leaders now with the top shooting teams over the previous ten. Number one, the Bulls. Recently, they've been effective in getting good looks. Field goal percentages are typically tied to the quality of your shots. Miller against Levine. Miller can't get it to go. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Levine passes to MP. The kick out to White. Launches it. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds now. Out to the right wing. Here's Ball. MP with the block. Great effort from MP. We don't see that a ton from players his age. Kick it out. Kick it out. And they double up MP. The kick out to Williams. Good. And the assist goes to MP. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Hornets trail by eight. Ball passes to Williams. Back to Ball. There's the triple. Chicago with a rebound. And given LaMelo Ball is six foot seven, how does this give him an advantage in his position, Grant? Well, B.A., he's able to score on smaller guards as well as see over them and find his teammates. His height and quick decision-making are real weapons. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. Yeah, now it's all about maintaining this lead, but you can't start playing it safe. You got to keep attacking and executing. And Ball gets it to go. Fearless from beyond the arc, LaMelo has unlimited range and tremendous confidence. Here's Levine for three. And again, it's Chicago with a three. 
They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Ball against White. Ball right side. Martin finds Miller. Three-pointer, no good. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. MP inside. Williams defending. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, some gritty stuff there by MP. Now he knew he was going to get hit. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Bulls. Well, the thing about hitting early threes, it spaces the floor and makes things a lot easier offensively. And following off of what you said, they've really done a good job distributing the ball, passing up good shots for great ones. Here's Salon. I post green. Pass to Williams. Here's Salon. Pure from three-point range. Well, that's a shot you don't mind him taking. Gets a good look and trusts his shot to knock down the three. Outside Craig. The three is up. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got five rebounds in the game. Craig against Green. A minute 37 left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Micic. Nice move. It's hauled in by White. Bulls leading by nine. MP with it. MP is doubled. Out to Craig. 4-3. It's rebounded by Charlotte. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Here's Micic. He's guarded by White. Desumu outside. Fires the three. And White hits from deep. White's got six. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Charlotte has gone two of five from deep. Pass to Green. Martin with the ball. There's 45 seconds left in the first. Three-pointer. And Green, good for three. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Yeah, sometimes you get in a shootout like this, but you just hope that you can get a stop first. It's rebounded by Salon. That's the shot you hope for, right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Pass to Micic. Let's go with a three on target from range. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. Well, you expect there to be peaks and valleys, but you've got some excellent scores on both sides. MP. And MP throws it down. Well, even though he hasn't been in the league a long time, MP knows exactly where to get his points. Williams, a screen on white. And that's not going to go. And so it's MP making things happen for Chicago. On the glass, he was an absolute tyrant, just owning the boards. Back to the game after this break. Making some changes here. Desumu outside. Back to MP. Right side, Williams. And there's a three second violation. Hornets trail by 15. On the court for Chicago. Levine and Williams are the two forwards. Ayo Desumu out there with Josh Giddy. And it's MP in at the five. 
was so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop, and he gets that one. MP's got 16 points now. Yeah, and let me tell you guys, I've seen a lot of great players come up in this league. MP is as focused on winning as they come. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Trailblazers was a man on a mission. He had 65 points and the story of the night. He put together the rare quadruple double. What a game for him and against their rivals, no less, which had to make him feel extra special. Guys, back to you. Outstanding, thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. Yeah, and we're likely to see them go to him early on. See if he can't replicate that performance. Now here's Levine. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levine. And for the Hornets, they're shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Ball outside. Off target with the three. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. It's those kind of passes that bring up the entire team's confidence. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. They trail by 18. To the paint. Williams passes to Miller. Ball with it. Back to Miller. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Pass to MP. MP is doubled. Outside for Levine. MP inside. Working on Williams. Levine passes to MP. Shot clock at five. From the arc. Williams misses. Hornets trail by 18. Miller, the pass to Williams, and here's Ball. Williams, a screen on Giddy. There's Ball with a three. Mello knocking down a three. It appears their offense is lacking some balance right now. Maybe too much reliance on the three ball. Outside, Williams. Back to MP. Outside, Giddy from behind the arc. They get the rebound. MP. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Well, he's a reason why they're winning right now. He's been efficient offensively, and his confidence continues to grow. Ball finds Williams. Miller outside. The three from Ball. And Charlotte, another three. Well, they're behind, but it's certainly not because of him. He's doing everything he can. He just needs more help from his teammates. And right away, Brandon Miller showed that he was a star in the making, Grant. Yeah, he's a three-level scorer, B.A. He's very fluid as a player, and he makes the game look so easy. And he hasn't even grown into his body yet. Hornets trail by 17. Here's Ball. 15 in his last outing. Green for three. Chicago with a rebound. MP's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Williams from long range. And the rebound goes to Charlotte. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Hits the rim on the way in, and the bucket is good. Miller's got six. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. Pass to DeSumo. Down low. Outside for Levine. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to Charlotte. Williams has got rebound number seven tonight. Well, clearly it hasn't been his best game offensively. But collectively, they've still found a way to get the lead. The playmaking ability of ball. So crafty and skilled at finding his guys. Martin, he's checked in for Green. And the Bulls also making a change. White's checked in. Bulls leading by 13. The three ball. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Nine points in the game. 
laser focus from White. The moment that pass was headed to him, he was ready. Ball finds Williams. Now here's Ball. He's got 13. Jacks up a three. The rebound by MP. MP's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Back to Levine. Beyond the arc. That won't go. Just two for seven shooting. Well, so far, he hasn't had the same luck from deep in this quarter. To the inside. Williams passes to Miller. Martin outside. Back to Miller. Takes a three. Rebound by the Bulls. And they've been winning at a high level this season. Most games not even close. Their point differential is sky high. Yeah, a lot of their games have been essentially over by the third quarter. Blowouts, big margins, really astonishing the dominance they displayed over the course of the season. I'm not sure we've ever seen a team so consistently dominant. Here's Paul. Can't hit it from 12 feet. Well, he's got the green light in that situation. They won him taking that shot, even if he didn't get it to Gus. And so it's the Chicago Bulls up 19 points as the quarter comes to a close. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. More 2K action in just a moment. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. The story tonight, everything, and I mean everything, is working well for the Chicago Bulls. They've imposed their will on the glass, getting all the 50-50 balls and maybe even a few 20-80 balls. Love the activity. Don't just say you want to win. Prove it and get it. All right, and now that we are in the later stages of the season, Here's how the standings are looking in the East. Well, right now for the Bulls, with the playoffs right around the corner, they're in tremendous shape. They're right on top in the first half. You mean they're ruling the rules? <laughs> they're taking shots for every team every night, and they're still landing on top. <laughs> What's ruling the rules? Never heard that. <laughs> Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Martin and Miller filling out the wings. Williams is out there with Grant Williams, and it's Ball in at the point guard position. That's the Hornets five. Yeah, with the size and versatility Miller brings to the table, he's a tough cover for just about anyone. It's his first trip to the line. And we all know about Stan the analyst and Stan the coach, but when you played in college, what was your game like, Stan? Hey, Brian, I, I had the game that would get you beat as a coach. I will say my greatest strength was this. I was never once accused of overpassing. The black hole that is Stan Van Gundy. A well-practiced shooter. Levine has complete confidence in his shooting motion. Back to ball. Martin outside. Miller outside. Williams a screen on Levine. Miller. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Pass to MP. And now the Bulls in transition. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Miller. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And Williams punches it home. Yeah, that's a great find by White. He's such a clever and deceptive combo guard. And here's Ball. 
13 points in the game. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Outside, Williams. Connects from downtown. Williams has gotten himself on the board with a three there. Rock solid screed right there. The defender got completely lost. Yeah, you've got to lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look from there. Giddy passes to MP. Miller pulls it in. Hornets trail by 19. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, a lot of change for this Hornets organization. New ownership, a new front office, a new head coach, some exciting new talent. They're renovating the arena and building a new practice facility. Other than that, not much has changed. B.A.? Business as usual, Allie. Thanks. Giddy passes to MP. Here's White. MP inside. Williams defending. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, since returning from the All-Star break, here's a look at the league's top three-point shooters. These guys have been on a tear from deep. Zach Levine is second. He's been a man on a mission since the All-Star break, especially with how he's shooting the three ball right now. You know, it's no secret that MP is a confident guy. But what I really like is that most of the time, he lets his play do the talking for him. Miller outside. Back to ball. Here's the three. Chicago with a rebound. MP's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. Levine finds MP. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Mark Williams. MP showing he's a force near the hoop. Free throw good, MP. And both free throws good for MP. Hornets trail by 21. Ball taking his time here. Pass to Williams. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And they want a second opinion on that call. The signal for the coach's challenge has been made. The people were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was smart. The previous play is under the One thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the rep. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Outside, Williams. Pass to MP. Stolen by Miller. Ball outside. Oh, there's the alley. Williams misses. And gearing up for the alley-oop, just couldn't finish the play. Well, it's not easy to time that up. Just not quite in sync then. Well, that's the multi-time dunk contest champ, Zach Levine, reminding us of what he can do. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Ball passes to Martin. No good there. Good D by MP. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And MP throws it down. You love to see MP just attack that rim. Young players take note. And Williams punches it home. Well, if you're going to let him get that close to the rim, that's what's going to happen. And they've stopped the action here. They're using their coach's challenge to see if they can get this foul overturned. <laughs> and even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed. The previous play is under review. It's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right.
After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Let's see some of the numbers here for MP. And over the last 10 games, he's been hitting the boards hard. He's been a different guy when it comes to rebounding, out there battling and fighting. It's great to see that kind of hustle. And stolen by Williams. White against Ball. Miller on the wing. Back to Ball. Williams with the screen. Top of the key. Chicago with a rebound. Well, that wasn't a bad shot. Defense playing a little loose there. Sometimes it just doesn't go in. MP is doubled. Outside Giddy. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. MP's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for Charlotte. Martin outside. Outside, Williams. This one for three. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got his 16th rebound on the night. Williams finds Kitty. MP is doubled with a nine-footer. Ball with the rebound. Well, he certainly had trouble finding the mark this quarter. Martin, the pass to Williams. Ball against MP. And Williams punches it home. Just flawless timing right there, right? The dish, the catch, the flush, the whole thing was perfect. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Well, you can see why he's a go-to guy for them. They trust in his ability to shoulder the offensive load. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. for the Hornets. Green's checked in for Miller, and it's Micic in for Martin. Desumu, he's checked in for Chicago. Carter comes in for White. Ball outside. Pass to Williams. Outside. Green. Now here's Ball. Williams with the screen. And it's Ball with the three. Ball's got 16 points now. And Ball makes the intelligent play, using the tried-and-true pick-and-roll to create an opening. Here's MP. That drops. MP. And it comes off an assist from Levine. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Charlotte has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Pass to Ball. Inside. Levine with a steal. And they're running. And they double up MP. The three. And it's Levine with the three. Levine's got eight here in this quarter. He's been so aggressive on offense. And with the results, you understand why. Well, yeah, and the defense is going to have to respond to that and chase him off the arc. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Stand back in your early coaching days, what was the dynamic working with the front office? Well, I was in good situations, and so you need the coach and the front office in sync where you're all working. Ah, called Hornets! Coach, what's the challenge of NBA travel like? Well, look. All of us in the NBA just have to come clean on this. We travel on first-class charters. We're taken care of as well as you can possibly be taken care of. It's just that there's a lot of travel in an NBA season. And if you're on the coast, you probably feel it a little bit more even than the teams in the middle of the country. And so in the game for the Bulls, Jalen Smith is out there with MP. Then there's Javon Carter, then it's Torrey Craig, and it's Tasumu in at the two. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Craig passes to MP. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. MP's got 32 points in the game. 
Well, he's been nothing short of fantastic this game, and he has his team in a great spot as this thing winds down. To the paint. From inside. And it's finished off inside by Green. Well, anytime you can get a good look close in like that, it's always your best option. Down low. Out to Craig. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Salon. Salon, he's got his fourth rebound in this one. Green with the ball. DeSumo picks him up. Green, the pass to Smith. Now Richards. Pass to Micic. Six on the shot clock. Up and over Carter. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Well, that's the kind of look you want every trip down the floor. They're happy with that possession. Here's MP. Banked it in off the glass. MP's got 34. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. Well, it's not going to get any easier if they can't improve their defensive intensity. They got to show some fight. Up top, Richards. Here's Micic. He's checked by Carter. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. Well, sharp interior passing is so important. The best way to create high percentage buckets. Right there. Here's MP. And the rebound goes to Charlotte. On the wing, Green. Defended by Craig. Smith outside. Pass to Salah. High post green. Here's Micic from downtown. And it's Chicago with a board. MP's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Well, so far in the second half, he hasn't been able to get another three to fall. Out to Craig. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Richards has got four rebounds in the game. Well, with his team leading, he might just want to put that one in his pocket next time. Here's Micic. Pass to Salah. High post green. And Craig pulls it down. Craig's got four rebounds now. Now here's MP, covered by Richards. Here's MP. Lays it up and banks it in. MP's got 18 points in just the second half. The Hornets have gone four for ten in the fourth. Here's Micic. Pass to Green. Let's the three fly. And it's MP with a rebound. And so it's Carter who brings up the ball for the Bulls. Here's MP. Nails the baby hook. MP. MP's got 38 points. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last 10 points coming off assist. To the inside. Smith outside. For three. Gets the three ball to go. Smith's got eight points in the quarter. A dead-eye shooter. Nick Smith is great from three-point land. That might be his biggest asset to this team. It's stolen by Green. It's two on one. Moving it up. The finish! Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's going to be on MP. Stan, you've coached some great defensive anchors in your time. Who do you view as the best in the game today? Well, Brian, you probably have to start with Rudy Gobert, but we've got guys like Brooke Lopez, Jaron Jackson, Anthony Davis, and then we've got two young ones coming up that could be as good as we've seen in Wimby and Chet Holmgren. Martin, he's checked in for Charlotte. Dorte, he's checked in for Chicago. Well, Stan, you've coached some lockdown defenses. With the way the game is officiated these days, is it getting too hard to defend? Well, it's certainly frustrating. You've heard defenders saying everything is a foul. 
we might need to redefine incidental contact. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. The team's checked in for Duarte. Chicago leading by 21. A nice shot by MP. MP's got 40 points. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. Ball finds Williams. Martin outside. Back to Williams. To the middle. Five to shoot. Williams passes to Miller. And Mark Williams picks up the foul. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Chicago making a switch here. Vucevic has checked in. Chicago has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Here's MP. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. MP's got 42 in the game. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Miller outside. Pass to Williams. Ball right side. Williams with the screen. Ball passes to Williams. Charlotte, no good that time either. The Bulls shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Great example of how to build a lead and then sustain it. You win games on both ends of the floor. Hook loose. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. MP inside. Working on Williams. And MP with a basket on the assist by Smith. MP's got 46. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Yeah, and to do it on the road, it shows how well prepared this team was coming into this contest. Right side, Williams. Shoots over to Sumu. And again, unable to change momentum here. Down low. Oh, MP throws it down. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Bulls. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And with the year they've had, you expect nothing less than a victory every time they take the court. Another stellar outing for them here tonight. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for MP. Well, you know, his work on the glass was a key factor, helping to turn the tide as far as the possession game. And so often, that's the difference. Assisted buckets, every team wants them. They show you're running effective team offense. Back to Smith. Fires from deep. Drills it from deep. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, they've got clutch guys on this team, and they never let up. Miller outside. And he rebounds again. And his season of dominance on the glass keeps rolling on here tonight. And he is in the presence of greatness as he moves towards the second most rebounds in a season. And to come near a Wilt record of more than 2,000 rebounds in a season is just out of this world. There's Ball with a three. Williams. MP with the block. Over to the left wing for three. Smith. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. Terrific find there. And he notches the triple-double. He's just been everywhere tonight. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. To walk into enemy territory. Great win tonight, MP. Great win tonight, MP.
MP really had a quadruple double last night. That's a dog, bro.